time. Parts of Brooklyn are about to get a lot greener. A local councilman is trying to plant more than 3,000 new trees in his district. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger is in Borum Hill to explain how this is an effort to combat the effects of climate change on a hyperlocal level. A tree grows in Brooklyn. One of thousands to be planted in this area over the next few years. The number one solution in fighting back against climate change is nature's solution. It's more trees, whether it's bringing shade to our community, addressing stormwater runoff, improving air quality. Lincoln Ressler represents the 33rd Council District, which also includes parts of Greenpoint, Brooklyn Heights, and Williamsburg. The ambitious plan includes a new tree in every empty bed. Maxing out the district's tree capacity. It's also about improving the health of our street trees. So we're organizing street tree care events. 3,400 trees will be planted in this district over the course of four years. Now, the plantings have just begun, but the council member estimates more than 800 trees will be planted here a year. The Parks Department has committed to 2,200 of the planned trees at a cost of $6.8 million. The rest will be paid for by the district's discretionary funding and public donations, costing at least $2.5 million. Already, the community raised $23,000 to help finance these trees currently planted by Tree Time, a Parks Department program which allows the public to donate to urban forestry. Trees are the only capital investment that appreciates over time. Every year, a tree grows and it captures more storm water, saves people more on their electricity bill through cooling. It sequesters more carbon. I've seen so many like small green spaces being paved over because of all the rats. Sometimes branches fall off and land on cars, so the, the, the city might do a bit better job of maintaining the existing trees. As for maintenance, street trees are the responsibility of the Parks Department, which last year celebrated a milestone. More trees planted in the 2022 fiscal year than the past five. NYC Parks is on track to surpass that mark this year. In Borum Hill, Brooklyn, Hannah Klieger, CBS2 News. Hannah Klieger is our community reporter covering Brooklyn. If you have a story idea for her, you can email the address that you see here on your screen. That's hannah.klieger at paramount.com.